Have you ever looked up at the sky and wondered how ancient civilizations track time without a single clock or calendar app? Prepare to be amazed. Deep within New Mexico's Chaco Canyon, atop a remote mesa called Fajada Butte, lies one of the most brilliant astronomical observatories ever created. This isn't a building with a giant telescope. It's something far more elegant and mysterious. The ancestral Puebloans who lived here over a thousand years ago were not just skilled builders, they were master astronomers. They understood the sun's journey across the sky with a precision that baffles scientists even today. Their masterpiece? A celestial device now famously known as the Sun Dagger. Imagine this, high on the butte, Behind three massive, carefully placed stone slabs are two spiral petroglyphs carved into the rock face. For most of the year, they sit in shadow. But on the most important days of the solar cycle, something magical happens. As the sun reaches its peak at midday on the summer solstice, a single, sharp sliver of sunlight, a dagger of light, pierces through a gap in the slabs and perfectly bisects the larger spiral. It's a flawless marker for the longest day of the year. But the genius doesn't stop there. During the winter solstice, two daggers of light appear, perfectly bracketing the same large spiral, signaling the shortest day of the year. And on the spring and fall equinoxes, the light performs yet again. A dagger strikes the center of the smaller spiral, while a second, larger dagger cuts through the big one. It's a calendar carved in stone and painted with light, that flawlessly tracks the changing of the seasons. How did they achieve this? The placement of the slabs, the angle of the carvings, it was all intentional, a result of generations of patient observation and deep celestial knowledge. The Sun Dagger is a silent testament to a culture deeply connected to the cosmos, a people who used the sky itself as their clock and their guide. It reminds us that long before modern technology, human ingenuity could literally move mountains, or at least giant slabs of rock, to touch the sun. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey into the past. If you found this as fascinating as we did, please hit that like button, subscribe for more incredible stories, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time.